What's going on guys? This is The Flow with Steve and I am here with my new podcast. This is episode one. This is letting go of old friends to make way for new blessings. We all have those friends we hold near and dear and we've known them for a long time. They at some points have played a crucial part in who we are, who we've became. We have them always there. And there's also some times where, you know, it gets to be a bit too much. You feel like everything you do, you know, could impact them too because it's like you have them so close in your circle that they know about every move that you're, you know bound to make they know about the things you have going on they know about what's right in your life they know about the things that you probably would prefer you know to keep more secret to keep quiet and hold to yourself there are people where you're afraid to do something because of how it's going to make someone else feel craziest part is is that some people are just okay with that and there is people right we have these friends where you know them right but they don't quite have a goal they don't quite have a plan they don't quite have an idea they don't quite find balance and they just choose to kind of go about their day with no structure it's it's sort of just like a mindless game of just interpreting interpreting I hope I said that right interpreting where time will take them and they're just gonna go with how it goes and they'll get by however they get by and with really no effort if you're someone like myself, I have unfortunately dealt with these people too much. And it definitely set me back because there was times I was out. There was times I was just hanging out and I was like, I should be doing this right now. Or if I didn't go out, I could be working on this or doing this. Because I know right now this is my time frame of free time. Like you have free time right why not make the best but when you're going out when you're setting yourself up for these distractions for these outside things to occur you're taking away all that is important and you're just replacing it with nonsense i mean straight like what is to gain by going out and like just just spending all your cash that you've worked hard for And seeing someone, right, who doesn't think like you, who's your friend, yeah, sure, you guys are close, but guess what? When it's time to actually boss up, they don't want to do that. Like, you're the only one who's who's, who's on go for that stuff. Like, you are set. Like, you want to have something to succeed, you you know, and, like, you want to face up to goals. You want to keep surpassing things. You want to keep checking it off the checklist you want to what's next what's next like i'm hungry for that i'm hungry for like the challenges i'm hungry for you know what comes good or bad because i want to keep growing but these people are so afraid of what's to come or what could come they're too comfortable in the situations in which they're in that they are straight up just sitting there like oh i'm fine like this one day i'll do that blah 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 excuses it's excuses you can't go like that because if you're someone who does it you're setting yourself up for destruction you got no path where like for me i'm someone who's young if i don't start these things right now How am I supposed to handle all this when I'm older? How am I supposed to have balance? How am I supposed to find myself if I'm someone who doesn't even care? Where I'll just take anything I can get because I can get it cheap and easily. It's crazy. It's crazy that these are the ways that people operate, right? And sometimes it's very sad to say these can be our own friends. The ones we hold 
closest to us truly do not have the desire to succeed and expand in the ways in which that we are setting ourselves forth to do. It's hard to be that one who gets it and actually takes action, right? Because it's so easy to just go down. It's so hard to just go up and work towards your goal. It's so hard to get up early. It's so hard to get to your job on time. It's hard to go work the whole day and come home after you sat in an hour of traffic or more and you're so burnt out, to, but you still got to go to the gym. You still have to cook. You still have to clean. You still got to eat. You still you still have obligations, right? You got to fit all these things into a time frame. But guess what? The goals I have is to become my own person, my own boss. I've had a uh, uh, I have had a business before that that I understood the way it goes. There's always gonna be someone, right, who's gonna tell you don't do it, don't 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 take the responsibility because it's too hard, right? There's so many factors that go into this type of stuff, right? But guess what? I don't care because I know that what I don't do, my in my inaction will be the death of me the indis the indecision the the not going for what i should the taking the, the 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 easy way out the oh i should just you know not do not do all i do because guess what i could take a different path and just do what they all do guess what i don't want my outcome to be the same as everyone else it's not going to be but it was so hard to actually cut people out because they were disrupting my process. No matter how close we were, no, it, it doesn't. They don't even have to be a friend. They can be my family. But guess what? That's what happens: is that people don't want to see you win. They want to give you advice. If you are getting advice from someone who's not doing good, who's not in a better position than you are guess what you're getting advice from the wrong person if someone's actually telling you what to do or if someone's saying oh go like this go like stop stop okay it's not gonna serve you at all because guess what we each live our lives independently we all wake up every day and decide what we're going to do. And people are so willing to short themselves in every way possible to take from someone who they know is putting in the work and the effort. They are grinding. They are trying to max everything out. That's a dangerous person. Who's doing all that hard work. That's also a dangerous one. Who's waiting. Who's sitting on the sidelines. Who's there. Who feels some type of way. It's so easy to have people. You know. Be a taker. Because they know. Who's going to be a giver. It's so easy to have those people. Because they'll fool you. They'll trick you. They'll trick you out of your position. Any way they possibly can. They will seriously put one up on you so fast. You won't even know what happened. Until it's said and done with. And it's been over with. You might look back and say. Whoa hold on. Because things don't make sense. Right. Guess what. Remove these people. R remove distractions. Remove the ones who aren't trying to go up. Remove the ones. No. It does not make any difference how close you are to them because guess what things might come around one day again you might end up being friends with them you might link back up with them when they're doing good but guess what you are gotta stay on your own path you gotta be your own person man i'm trying to tell you guys don't just wait for these people to change so that you can keep going up with them it's not gonna work like that seriously seriously don't depend on anybody and take the 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 Facebook and the Instagram and the all, all, all that stuff, take it out of the equation because it's a facade, it's a portrayal. You can give any little tidbit of yourself. You can show it the best way. You can you can be so fake. It's you can make the entire you can you can 
be the entire opposite kind of person, excuse me, just by your way you portray yourself, it's not gonna be good for you to suffer. Okay, these people don't care about you. They're only in it for themselves. I don't care what someone says. They'll always try to get you to think these things. But you can make one move. It will change the entire course of your friendship with them. And then you will see the true colors of who they are. Or they might just wait to put one up on you. Right? Because they're... Because if you're with them and you start going up and up and up and up and up and up and they're not right it's gonna get to a point with them where it's like they're gonna just digging up you're gonna feel the way they they actually feel they might not quite exactly show it they might act like everything's okay but you're gonna pick up on that asap and that's what i had happened so that's why it's like i needed to, to get into full focus isolation zone m mode because this is this is what god told me to do this is how i feel this is i use my spirit of discernment i used everything i seriously could i've been through it so many different times i've seen it every way possible i know people who who have been brought into to to good things to good opportunities but just didn't actually have an understanding of what they had and they flopped it all guess what i come from the bottom i come from i come from a place where there was there was only just dreams i'm trying to work hard to make every day a point of aspect to my reality to formulate this stuff to actually you know go somewhere because i'm trying to have a following i'm trying to have a crowd i'm trying to have a platform to actually put on for you people because guess what there's too much nonsense going on and everybody's turning into someone who doesn't care guess what don't be that one because guess what when it all falls down you won't have any skills you'll have no one you'll be you'll, you'll, you'll be shot out of your luck you'll be on the bottom of the bottom with no way out of it when it's too late to look back when you have every when you have exhausted everyone who's cared about you when you're when you are the one who is now known to be the one that you know you don't associate with guess what that's that is your own fault but when you remove yourself from everything that doesn't serve you well it all takes a turn on your brain for the best and you seriously can lock into anything you need to get done you will get done it's now then up to you to take your time and what with what you have going on and remove the other distractions that come into the whole day-to-day -day process you have to then take your time find out what fits right what works and you gotta lock into that stuff because then that's when you have no distractions you are isolated you go work get your things done you take your free time you make the best you capitalize you take everything you can no it does not it can be the smallest thing that can be insignificant man use that as a tool build up with that you don't have to have these big things and say all right because i have this and because i have that now i can make it no take the pieces of the puzzle no listen some have uh, uh, the the pieces of the puzzle for some are big they're that big right the puzzle is that big so they one two three four five six seven eight boom done right and some it's a 50 piece some it's a 100 some it's a 500 some it's a thousand some it's a ten thousand piece puzzle we all come from different places in life sometimes it takes us a longer time to build up and get the complete picture of everything but guess what doing it now is always better than never or later have to work towards everything and sometimes we are not in the right place to receive 
things we should receive technically, right? We think we should receive certain things. Guess what? Sometimes you might not actually be one who should receive those things. And by those things, I mean uh, blessings. They are not always for our taking. They're not always meant for us, even though we might be in a certain spot where it's like that door right there in that hallway could open you up to that. You might have to walk right past that and go into something else. You might have to start new, start fresh. But guess what? That turns your brain entirely onto a different... It's entirely different now. And you'll change and you'll gain the growth. But don't... But just understand that the pieces of the puzzle are different for everyone. The size of them, the size of the tools, the size of what you've learned, the size of how long you've experienced things, what you have gone through, who you were, who you, you know, grew up with, who you hang out with, who your boss was, who your, you know, your, your, your friends were from since day one. Who you don't talk to now, who you talk to, who's come into you, you know what I mean? They all have to be put in the right place for things to line up. And if you think that it's not true, you're just going to hold yourself back. I'm not saying it in a harsh way. It's just these are the things I try to stress to people who are so arrogant and full of themselves. You know, and I feel it's the right thing to do. God puts it on my heart to, to you know, help someone out. But when they're battling these demons and they got so much going on, what can you do? You got to fall back and let them work on themselves. And hopefully they understand or else guess what? You're gone. You move on. You stay away from that because it's only going to hold you back, drag you down. You're going to stay where you're not supposed to be. So understand it's a process, but these are, but there's certain things you got to just accept. Who cares about how they feel? Who cares about what they think? Who cares about what they say behind your back? Guess what? You know you the best. You're the only one who has your, your best interest. So be your own friend. Learn how to just deal with these things. Get through. Be sober too. I, sh I should have said that too. Be sober. Don't don't use don't use things to 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 cope or to pass another day. Guess what? It's just gonna repeat, repeat constantly, repeat. Don't do that because you're you're doing the same thing. You're falling down. You're staying stagnant. You're not. You don't got anything actually going on. So just think about all of those things, and I hope you are blessed. Thank you so much if you have gotten to this point. God bless you, man. And if you didn't know, I stutter. So this is also something that I'm going to talk ab about too. So so understand that, that not all the things I will say are going to come out perfect. Not to, you know, say that they all got to make so much more sense. But look, we all got something and I'm accepting of that. So anyways, God bless you and thank you for watching.